Hey everyone, welcome to Alchemy Star. So we have here new units uh, that we'll have this uh, Thursday. So starting off with uh, Rainbow, she's uh, independent with five stars. She is going to be our free unit that we could uh, uh, level up to max breakthrough uh, with free copy. So she's a sniper and her element is is going to be water so as for her attack that is roughly average not really great um defense 1000 attack is 3 to 30 and hp is 9 8 60. i wouldn't mind getting her because she is free and i wouldn't mind having this type of waifu in my lineup so let's check out what skills she adds Okay, so active skill is Exploding Geyser. Cooldown is three preemptive strike. I don't think we need to really delve into if she has preemptive strike or not. We're going to get her for free anyway in her copies. By the way, Exploding Geyser is activates all sun shower marks on the field that uh, each deal 240 damage to nine tiles in a square shape around them. So big damage. Uh, and it's kind of large, so nine tile damage. If the if a target sustains damage more than once, the damage for every hit after the first one is reduced down to ten percent of the original damage. So it's just going to be to add ten percent to the origin to the original damage of one hundred percent. If any of the tile is the is is if any tile on the field is covered by three activated marks but no sun shower mark one new sun shower mark will generate on that tile so sun shower mark disappears after three rounds so clearly she's gonna be exploding sun shower marks all over the place and going to her chain combo pressure blast it's going to be four chain eight chain and 12 sad to say that the damage doesn't increase for her um chain combo but it increases to the number of enemies that are going to be hit okay and off to equipment scale protection bubble she by the way grants a shield that is 120 percent of rainbow's defense and lasts for one round when passing through a sun sun shower mark generates a sun shower mark on a random blue tile at the beginning of each round so that is how she generates it she doesn't have a way of putting it where you need to be so it's going to be random um i don't think she's going to have a place in in our teams but i bet she's going to be fun especially if we get her for free okay off to the other two six stars that we have first with gino so gino is a support with um uh, forest element he is a six star attack is three two four five again average um i don't expect it to be higher because he's support defense is one two three seven and hp is ten three two eight so all around average stats moving on to his skills his skills i've had I've had a chance to browse through them, but let's go through, you know, what he gives us. It, it, it's a bit complicated. Um, Devil's House of Cards is his active skills. Uh, cooldown is zero. So preemptive strike. So Gino starts the battle with the origin deck. So we're going to be playing a deck of cards and also the sanity system. So I'm not sure how this, go this is going to play out or how this is going to look like but this is again interesting i hope this is not not just a gimmick again um so moving on gains one random origin card for every five sanity consumed when when cast again in the in the same round increases the consumption by five for Aurorian, simultaneously enhanced by luminous cluster and astronomical transit the lower the sanity, the higher the attack bonus up to 66.6%. 6 okay, it, this is going to involve an origin deck which consists of three types of cards. You have your solar, lunar, and cosmic. Select three cards to activate the corresponding effect. All cards in, in the same type, luminous cluster. The current captain gains additional attack by 8% of Geno's basic attack. No card in the same type astronomical transit that 
the Aurorian at the end of the team gains additional attack by 7% of Geno's basic attack. Again, there are a lot of things here to consider. We just still have to try him out once he's out in the trial stage. I'll be doing that and also giving you guys an update on what I think. Other discolored brilliance captain changes from the battle plus one restores 25% of sanity lost. The, the increased attack. The attack increase lasts for the whole battle, not stackable with other effects of the same type. It's kind of it's kind of confusing on how this all comes together. Um, again, we'll just, we we need we really do need to play him and see what how this how the sanity system and the origin deck comes into play how do you play it how do you no again i just hope this is not a gimmick <laughs> that um, they're putting out but go moving on to chain combo royal flush three chain damage 150 damage to the three nearest enemies so it increases by five percent from three eight and thirteen chain and uh, the damage is from three to four to all enemies within the surrounding cluster which is kind of nice, but um, decent enough damage because, again, Gino is support and equipment skill is change of heart. When casting Ridge Origin deck, restores the team HP by 120 of G Gino's basic attack. So for support, he does have healing. He does have attack bonus. Uh, what else? Attack bonuses. Okay, going back to change of heart. So, again, a healing 120%. This effect is not affected by the sanity system. The lower the team's HP, the higher the recovery effect, up to 100% 100 bonus. Gains two random cards at the beginning of battle and gains one random card when entering Aurora type. So, again, I just hope this is not just a gimmick. Um, some, some, some of the skills, some of the mechanics sometimes of their new units are a bit overhyped and sometimes are a bit complicated and in the end we realize that it's not really worth summoning on them but we really really summoned on them so we'll try to play it during the launch this thursday so moving on to the last one after gino we have fia fia is also a support class with an element of water attack is three to two 3228, which is um, average. Defense is also average at 1179. And HP is kind of low, but below 10,000. So she, she is six star, by the way. And she is of independent, independent faction. Okay, so moving on to, to Fia. Her kit is a bit different from Gino. So the Kylo strategy is her active skill. Cooldown is not applicable to Fia as her active skill depends on the number of bait value. So that's good. So consumes one point of bait value to place one hunt mark on any tile. So or select one hunt mark to release Kylo. When the hunt mark is active for 0, 1, 2, 3 rounds, Kylo attacks the hunt mark tile. 5 tiles in a cross shape and 13 tiles in a diamond shape. 25 tiles in a square shape, dealing 150, 200, 350, and 500 damage. Reduces the target's basic defense by 5% for the round. Effects can, effects can be stacked. Bait value is gain 1 point at the beginning of each round. So you're going to gain it automatically each round. But I'm sure you won't be able to use it every round. It's going to be every other round. And one point at the beginning of each wave. Up to nine points. Okay, so this is going to be summoning, releasing Kylo. And placing a hunt mark on each tile. So this is kind of interesting. Um, this is going to involve probably... I think this is going this this active skill is kind of simpler than what it seems. Um, it's just placing a hunt mark, then Kylo will go on the hunt, and then deal damage and reducing target by five percent. This is going to be simpler than Gino. Gino is more complicated because it has a card, and again, 
the insanity system in place, the card origin insanity system. So moving on to Fia's chain combo. So 4, 9, and 13. So it increases 130, 130, and 150. Not that much. Again, it's uh it's uh what they call this. It's uh kind of obvious because she is of support. And the damage increased from one column to three columns. And her equipment skills, swelling tides, Fia glides on blue tiles, dealing damage to adjacent enemies when turning, deals damage to one surrounding cluster, adds a damp effect to the target that lasts for one round, increases counter element damage factor by 10%, damp effects 50% on 50 increases, damp effect increases 50%. I think damage on fire enemies. So turn, turning to the side or to the back. This one is a bit confusing. So glides dealing adjacent damage when turning. Uh, okay. So again, this one, if I may assume, just gives additional damage, particularly to fire units. So she is more anti-fire. And there we go. So if I may have a calculated calcul calculated risk, um, I'd rather go with Fia to summon. Um, her kit is simpler, easier to use. But for Gino, I think his kit is, if it turns out to be good, is a high risk, high reward kind of support. Uh, this again we'll have to check once we have them in the game and lastly rainbow is just here just to have fun so there you go guys those are my thoughts on the new units coming this week particularly on thursday and also i need your thoughts what do you think of the new units are they good who will be good who will be bad put them down in the comments below Thank you guys for staying this far. So take care, stay safe. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.